Listening and Speaking for Level 4 Students. Chapter 9. The objectives of this chapter include the following. 1. To understand topics related to health. 2. To use paraphrasing to work out meaning. 3. To understand collocations with verbs and prepositions. The vocabulary log of this chapter includes the following. 1. Stress. 2. Excessive. 3. Response. 4. Moderate. 5. Defensive. 6. Symptoms. 7. Suffer. 8. Depression. 9. Volunteer. 10. Adopt. 11. Blood pressure. 12. Aquarium. 13. Allergy. 14. Pets. Now, listen to the program and fill in the gaps with the correct answer. Today's topic for Health Watch is stress, a common concern of young and old for good reason. First, we'll hear a definition and some examples. Uh, then we'll talk about the impact of stress and what can be done to alleviate or prevent stress. Webster's Dictionary defines stress as a physical, chemical, or emotional factor that causes bodily or mental tension and may be a factor in disease causation. Stressors, or causes of stress, include arguments, excessive physical or emotional demands, uh, misunderstandings, changes, or anything which upsets homeostasis, or our balance. Everyone has probably had the experience of feeling like everything is going along just fine, and then something happens to completely change all that. Responses to the situation may include wanting to run away and put some distance between the situation and oneself, or the opposite response of wanting to face the situation, work hard, and put things back as they were. These two opposite responses are what scientists call the fight-or-flight stress response. Either we want to take flight, run away, or we want to stay and fight. But can stress be good? Well, sometimes yes. Stress in moderation is normal and not always negative. Some people believe they're more productive and effective when they operate under stress or close to a deadline. In stressful situations, the body releases the stress hormones cortisone and adrenaline, which raise the blood pressure. If we fight or take on a defensive action, the stress hormones are used up and the effects of stress are reduced. If, however, we do not face the situation, if we flee instead, the hormones and chemicals that are not released stay in the blood. This then leads to symptoms like tenseness, anxiety, and high blood pressure. In excess, stress can have very negative effects on our physical and mental health, our work, and our relationships. Getting only a few hours of sleep for several days in a row can lower the body's defenses and make us irritable or nervous. Excessive stress can impair our judgment and cause us to make mistakes in our work, possibly jeopardizing lives. Family, friends, and coworkers may put up with the whirlwind lifestyle of someone who is constantly under stress, but at some point, the relationship may suffer, deteriorate, and even break up. Aside from the ruinous impact on one's disposition, work, and relationships, Understanding stress is also important because it can exhaust the immune system, resulting in illness. According to recent research, 70% to 90% of illness is stress-related. For example, an argument with a family member, good friend, or colleague can result in bad feelings and may even increase to the point of causing physical illness, such as a headache, stomach ache, or depression. Constant stress, which has become more common in the workplace, can lead to chronic health problems. It's obvious that this affects workers, but employers feel the impact too in lower productivity and, as a result, in economic terms as well. The percentage of healthcare expenses for workers with high stress levels 
is reported to be almost 50% greater than for other workers. So what can we do to reduce stress? One of the first things to do is to observe and note personal stressors. Are there simple changes you can make that might result in avoiding these stressors? For example, if getting stuck in traffic every morning means starting the day fuming, try to leave earlier to avoid the rush hour. Second, help the body and mind by providing regular rest and relaxation. Classes in yoga, including conscious breathing techniques and meditation, can provide respite in the day or week, a kind of safe haven from stress. Other activities recommended for release of tension include getting exercise, having a massage, and believe it or not, getting a pet. One, confronting situation instead of running away or avoiding it is an example of the fight response. Two, in stressful situations, the hormones cortisone and adrenal are released, which rise the blood pressure. So in stressful situations, the hormones cortisone and adrenaline are released, which rise the blood pressure. Number three, nearly 70 to 90% of illness is stress related. Number four, employers should try to reduce stress in the workplace because it affects their productivity. Number five, some physical effects of stress include headache and depression. And the last statement, one thing we can do to reduce stress is to avoid stressful situations.